For more than 40 years, from 1972 to 2011, this WB-57 was comfortably resting in retirement in a boneyard in Arizona. So in 2011, a small team of us went out to pick out an airframe at davis monthan We chose this airplane, which had been parked there since 1972. It was rebuilt, completely rebuilt, and then uh, flew for the first time last year after having been in storage for 42 years. We understand that's the record. The previous record, I, I can't remember, was 30 some years by an F-4, but this has been the, uh, this is the longest airplane storage brought back to flying status. And while this eye-catching plane was brought back to flying status, it's undergone many upgrades to make it useful today. The unique feature of the WB-57F model is that its wingspan is twice that of the original ones. So the F models have a wingspan of 122 feet 7 inches. The penalty for that is they're extremely susceptible fatigue, which is a factor of the long wing and the type of material they used. NASA has replaced most of the material in the wing, and that's no longer a factor. The inboard struts and trusses still need to be replaced, and we're looking at doing that in the next couple years. The B-57 was the original aircraft for this airframe. It was built by the British in the 1950s. In the late 50s, the Air Force acquired them. Uh, they were built under license by the Martin Company. In 1963, the General Dynamics re-winged the aircraft to, to create the airplane we have today, the F model, which has a 122-foot wingspan. The Air Force flew them operationally through mo most of the 60s, but by then the U-2 had taken over much of its mission set. And so the Air Force transferred two of them to NASA to use for airborne science. Looking at the plane is one thing, but flying this remarkable bird has its ups and downs. So this is a great plane to fly. It, the sexy part is walking to and from the airplane. Sitting in it for six hours is not that much fun. But it, does, it has improved dramatically. You do have a great view at 50,000 feet. And at 60,000 feet, you can see the curvature of the Earth. Gives you a real feeling for uh, how small we are and how big the Earth is and how fragile it is. Yes, sir, thank you very much.